right, what are we up to today? Well, today we're off for a drive to the mustard seed community in uh, at Jacob's Ladder. They called me up and asked me for some help with a, uh, a solar system, and so we're going there to help them with that. Mustard seed uh, takes care of some of Jamaica's most vulnerable and does some great work. Fantastic. Now, how do we get there? Uh, we're going to be going through Kingston along Washington Boulevard out to the Mandela and then out the North South Highway. All right. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. Let's go. Welcome to my channel where island adventures meet expat life as an Airbnb host, creating for you Jamaica Nice, eh? Welcome to our journey today as we embark on a drive from bustling Kingston to the Tranquil Hills to discover the remarkable mustard seed community of Jacob's Ladder. This unique community holds a special place in Jamaica's heart, providing compassionate care and support for individuals with diverse abilities and health challenges. So, because it's an early morning chip, I got my coffee on the road. <laughs> That's not fair, I don't get coffee. You had your coffee. go-kart race, you know, with uh, the cars just all jockeying for position. I uh, forgot how hot this cup keeps this coffee. I just burnt my tongue. <laughs> I haven't seen these since I was a young girl, and I go to big city and now I'm seeing them here in Jamaica I got the accordion to help them turn the corner easier and hold more passengers oh look at that lean yeah. from riding on it to driving beside it Jelly. Oh yeah, yeah jelly that, coconut. That's a uh, for breakfast. Yeah, for having fresh jelly. That's always a treat for people who come to visit Jamaica and haven't had jelly before. People have obviously had the coconut water, but here you get the treat of having the jelly, which is and they use they cut a little spoon right from the shell of the coconut that they use to scoop out the jelly, and it's quite delicious. It's become one of my favorites. It's really yummy, and it's quite nutritious. So can't argue with something so fresh and so good for you. Great way to start your morning. The Mustard Seed Community has been a beacon of hope in Jamaica for decades. Mustard Seed Communities began in 1978 in the impoverished community of Mona Common on the outskirts of Kingston, Jamaica, as a home for a handful of abandoned and disabled children. Today, they serve over 400 children, young adults, and families who belong to the most vulnerable groups in Jamaican society. The populations of their homes include children and young adults with abilities, children affected by HIV, and teen mothers along with their babies. Out the sky today. Um, I hope it looks this good in the, in the video, but it, it doesn't even look real right now. Those clouds just, it looks like a painted set. <laughs> it's incredible. Beautiful day for the journey.
<laughs> hopefully I, I won't get uh, dragged in my comments for my outfit today but it's cool and it's functional and uh, you know you you always have your air of cool about you it doesn't matter what you're wearing From its humble beginnings, Mustard Seed has grown into a network of communities across Jamaica, with Jacob's Ladder being one of its cherished locations. Each Mustard Seed community is a testament to the enduring spirit of compassion and dedication. Throughout the years, Mustard Seed has touched countless lives providing not only physical care, but also opportunities for education, vocational training, and emotional well-being. It has become a place where dreams are nurtured, talents are discovered, and friendships flourish. As we arrive through the gates, we entered a world where love knows no bounds and everyone is embraced as a valued resident. The heart of this community lies in its people. Compassionate and skilled staff members work tirelessly to ensure the physical, emotional and spiritual well-being of each and every resident. Through their commitment, they create a nurturing environment that fosters growth, independence and joy. All right, welcome to Jacob's Ladder. I'm going to embark on a project to solarize the entire Jacob's Ladder. All right? So, I'm going to be the best friend of the ride. Sure. All right. It's a conversation between you and I. So, tell me about Lee Jacob's Ladder. So, Jacob's Ladder wonderful is, story. is part of Mustard Seed. As you yeah. know, Mustard Seed has started in Jamaica 20, uh, 40, almost 45 years ago now, yeah. looking after children with special needs, various forms of disabilities, HIV and AIDS, and we have a home for pregnant teens. This Jacob's Ladder is the biggest of our facilities. We have 10 across Jamaica, in Kingston, Mandeville, Montego Bay, and, you know, Spanish Town, where we house different populations of these children with special needs. This facility, Jacob's Ladder, started about 15 years ago. And um, the miracle of Jacob's Ladder, so you came down that dirt road and you think like you're going into nowhere. Yes. And that's exactly it. It's nowhere. It's in the middle of nowhere. Yes. And if you came here 15 years ago, there's nothing here. It was just bush empty, yeah. reclaimed bauxite land that we got through the bauxite company and the government on a 1990 lease or whatever it is. And over the years, we started to develop this facility. We started with some of the small homes there and we kept expanding, expanding. And everything you see here is donor funded. Yes. There's no funds from the government. There's no, we just raise money to build and to build out this facility. You've done a wonderful, wonderful job. So how many, how many people are here? So right you... now there are about 112, we call them residents, mm -hmm. I call them children, but residents with varying forms of disability. Some very extreme, psychotic, some mild and you know, different range. range. Uh, but the unique thing is they're all adults. So in the other homes we have in Jamaica, like Kingston and Spanish and so on, we have some children, children with disabilities. As they grow older, and you may or may not know this, there are no opportunities. There's nowhere for them to go. Most of them are abandoned or orphaned. Yes. So they are with us from birth to death. They have to spend the rest of the day, their days. So you have residents like Sheldon, who you just met there, he's working in the office. So he's at a different level of disability. Um, so he has a job. Mm -hmm. um, so you have all these residents who are over 80. That we, what we try to provide is a wholesome environment with all the, the necessities to give them a sense of dignity and respect yeah. for the rest of their life. Um, 
and I, if I can interrupt, I sure, just, you sure. can't help but see the smiles on their faces and the. You saw it already. Yeah, yeah exactly. you see that, and I've seen. I've been here before, and it's just incredible to see just the the happiness in their eyes. And that's and that yeah. they are in a loving environment, and I commend you for that for the wonderful work. And that it's, you a, do. it's and, a team work. Yeah. yeah, the staff are yeah. tremendous. The caregivers they have round the clock supervision. We have, and living with them, I actually live here. Um, it really kind of, you, you see the change, you see the growth, you see the development. I mean, I've been doing this for 20, 27, 28 years. And you see these kids like Sheldon, who were once crawling or in a wheelchair, now he is in crutches, now he can work at a desk. Um, you see some of them who were where they came from, now they're working in the laundry, or they're working on the farm, or they, you know, they're doing things, some of them work in the kitchen. Um, and we give them that. So we, again, different, different levels, but we try to empower them as well. So one of the things we're doing down there, we're making houses for semi-independent living, so those who can do more will have a little more, you know. As we tour through the vibrant gardens and witness the shared laughter and camaraderie, we understand that Mustard Seed is more than just a community. It's a testament to the power of compassion and inclusivity. Tell me your name, sir? Anumba Perry. Perfect. And what, what do you do at Mustard Seed? In New um, basically, I'm the maintenance electrician. Um, once it's electric, yeah, I'm the guy they call. Perfect. Perfect. And so, so how long have you been here at Mustard Seed? I think I've been here from 2017. Ah, perfect. So, something about six years. And you live in the area? Yeah, I'm from Walkerswood, a community down there. Perfect. Um, where the famous Turk season is from. Wonderful to meet you, Ian. How long have you lived the mustard seed? Three years, Three years yes. And so you like it here? This building here. The mustard seed community of Jacob's Ladder is entirely donation funded, a testament to the generosity and compassion of individuals like you. If you are inspired by their history and mission and would like to contribute, please check the link in the video description below. A few homes here that are in close proximity. They recognize the importance of mental and emotional well-being. Through a range of therapeutic programs, residents receive the support they need to navigate life's challenges, cultivate resilience, and find happiness in their unique journeys. At Mustard Seed, education and vocational training are key elements in empowering residents to lead fulfilling lives. By fostering skills and providing opportunities, the community aims to help residents achieve their dreams and become contributors to their community. Join us in celebrating the Mustard Seed community of Jacob's Ladder, a place where hearts are healed, dreams are nurtured, and compassion flourishes. Together we can honor the history and continue the legacy of Mustard Seed, creating a more inclusive world where everyone is embraced and celebrated. Hello! Hello! Hello. How are you all doing? You found the so. Say hello, welcome. Hello! Hello, welcome. Hi, thank you. Well, she's going to pick up all the great work that you guys do here. Nice meeting you. All right, All good right. to see you. God bless. All right. I am a skin by the garden. Ah, this is Sherry. My name is Emmanuel. Nice to meet you. All right, so that was an incredible day at the Mustard Seed. There was room and lots of plans for expansion. And um, the things they're doing there for the residents is is amazing and each and every one of them are so deserving of that love and the attention that they get living at, uh, at mustard seed or at jacob's ladder yeah it was, it was heartwarming to see you know all of those you know as father garvin referred to them the most vulnerable you know to see them so well taken care of and you know having a place that they can call home 
place where they belong. As we left right? the mustard seed, very, very hot one, Jacob's ladder. Very touching it was difficult to find the words. As in my heart was overcome with emotions, all the wonderful work that's words going alone on, struggle to convey. With the limited resources Witnessing the important work and I'm always so happy to give you a smile and say hi. Corners of and my uh, they're just happy Each to meet new people with their unique and, abilities uh, and challenges. Yeah, Radiated it's, a beauty it's that definitely only something that tugs at your heart, and, and I want to see unveil. so much in their eyes. More I done saw for all of them, but I know that uh, face step by step, <laughs> rung by rung of the Jacob's ladder, I know that they are doing everything they, they can to uh, and the provide a, a wonderful place. As to Father Garvin said, it's, enriched by it's dedication somewhere they are for their entire life, and them. As a reminder, they do their best to make it home for all of them, and you no can bounds. really feel that. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We express our heartfelt gratitude to the compassionate people who work at Jacob's Ladder for welcoming us into their community and sharing their stories of love and support. We also extend our sincere appreciation to the supporters of Mustard Seed, whose generosity and kindness make projects like this and other communities possible. The residents of Mustard Seed deserve the care and opportunities they receive and so much more. Witnessing what people can do for the most vulnerable persons in Jamaica in ways of love, support, and compassion is yet another reason why we say, Jamaica nice, eh?